the flowery or false bluet, otherwise known as Lapista or Clytosibe irina. As you can tell, these are pretty much a nondescript mushroom. It has a very large silky white cap and usually they have very thick stems, which I'm going to show you over here. I've already had to move all this moss and look at that. Sorry about that, moving the camera all over the place except for where I need it to be. Okay, there we go. So for the size of this mushroom, the stalk is quite thick. Now, this is a mushroom that can occur either individually or in groups. And in many cases, they even form fairy rings containing countless mushrooms. And they can even wind their way through a forest for many, many meters. Now this location doesn't have it right now. I do know of another one. I'm gonna take a vid and just tack it on after this video. This mushroom was originally described in nine, no, 18, it was 1838. And it was originally named Agaricus nudis by the great Swedish mycologist, Elias Magnus Fries. Now, Let's see here. There we go. Now these guild fungi were placed in the Garicus genus in the early days of fungal taxonomy. Lapista is derived from Latin, meaning a wine pitcher or a goblet. Because when they're fully mature, and this one's not quite there yet, it can actually take on the shape like a shallow chalice or a goblet. And arena means that it pertains to irises, which means the scent of an iris. Now you can find these in forests from July right through to late autumn. Right now we are in the last week of October. The caps can measure anywhere from five to 10 centimeters across, which there's your 10 centimeter one right here. And buried in there, you probably have about a five or a six centimeter cap. The gills are narrow. Oh, let's get in there a little bit. And they're quite crowded. And the spore print, when done, is like a creamy white to a mm, kind of a pale grayish pink, if that makes any sense. These are considered edible. However, please be warned that the flowery bluet can upset some stomachs. Always cook them first, never eat them raw. And these are actually not too bad when you saute them up and serve them with chicken. And they also go very well with cheese, rice, and pasta dishes. So there you go. Flowery bluets. Although I'm not finishing off here, I have a couple of little videos I'm gonna add on after this so you can see just how extensive these grow. So stay tuned. So here is another video about the flowery bluet. And it kind of shows you that I'm in an area that looks like it really <laughs> doesn't have too much to offer. But look close. Here we go. Guess what's coming home? More flowery bluets. I'm not fond really of sauteing these guys up because they're quite the size. However, what I do love doing with them is cutting them up, put them in a dehydrator and then powdering it and using that in my smoothies, my soups, my stews and I quite enjoy it that way. So there you go. But don't go away yet. Here comes another video. And here is one more location. 
to show you about the Lapista arenas. arenas. These ones are old because they're browning. So they're certainly not edible at that stage. Here is a little cluster. Another one here. That's old. And if we go up the hill here, there's a few more. Right there. Right there. So as you can see, if you find one, keep your eyes peeled because you're gonna find a whole lot more, chances are. And there we go, we'll end off here. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and be sure to hit the like button. Thank you.